Alright, let's try this again. This is the third time I have tried to record this, and I'm getting a little annoyed with it. Okay, my current plans are I want two to three more of these kinds of totes. These, I believe, are the 250 gallon totes. I want to cut holes in them like this one so that there's doors in them. I want to I'll probably use this one where I did what I did before, have two large totes inside of it with a heat lamp so that I can have chicks that I've hatched out in it. And I'll have the other one. After they've been in there for a month, they'll get moved to this one where they'll mingle with other chicks. Hopefully by then they'll be big enough to put the little sorting rings that I have on them just so I know from what clutch they came from. After a month of being in here and either not being sold um, or just being chosen to be, you know, introduced into our flock, they'll be moved into something bigger. And the rings will probably be taken off because by that point, which clutch they came from won't really matter. At least not to me. Um, the other two I haven't decided, but there's a possibility I could go ahead and use them for raising ducks in the same way that um, I'm raising the chickens, but I might have to adjust it because ducks grow so much faster than the chickens do. Or I could use one for uh, maybe housing rabbits that I'm gonna sell. I don't know yet. I do know that I'm going to use two of them for raising chicks. Um, if I was able to get a third one, I'd probably also cut a hole out of it and I would put quail in there. I think if I, if I could get a nice container or somewhere to raise quail, I'd start raising quail because I would like some quail. I've, I've wanted some quail for a while. I'll probably keep them in about this vicinity. I'll move these ones up and put the other two over there or something or just turn these ones around and then what I'll do is I'll take these this is my old carport that I bought so I went ahead and shortened it this should fit over the four that I want right here for like raising chicks and stuff that will keep them shaded and if I can get a tarp or even a waterproof canvas that's long enough I can have it so that it will cover the door uh, just enough to keep the weather out, you know, when it's raining or snowing or really super windy or something outside, which we, we get sometimes here. So that's, that's part of it. I can still roll it up for on nice days like this because today is a nice day. And then I would like to get some more of this kind of fencing because I'd like to make this bigger. If I can make this bigger or make another section, then I can put the older chicks uh, in here that are not yet ready to be introduced into the actual flock and released because young chicks have a habit of just disappearing and dying for some reason. I'm thinking I can move that and I can fit it in here and what I'll do is I'll put my bantams and my ducks in here and then I'll use this to shelter this because uh, this should fit in here and I can shelter this. The fire got to this and so melted it so I'm gonna have to clean it up and re I've got some more of this but I'm gonna have to put it on and if I do get a bigger like more of this then I'm gonna have to get more but yeah so those are kind of thoughts I have decided I'm going to reduce my rabbit tree kind of again I'm just going to go with four, four does and a buck for now. I'm not giving up on my rabbits, but um, I think at this point I kind of need to focus on the chickens and the ducks. And I'll just keep a small uh, thing of rabbits for right now. Um, and if I do that and I get some of this stuff set up, then I might be able to move the rabbits over here as well. So, anyways, those are my current thoughts, my current plans. I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to get all of that, but that's what I'm looking at doing right now. So to, in order to get some of these, first I have to find somebody who sells the size that I want, and then I'm probably going to have to ask a friend to pick them up and move them for me because currently we don't have a truck or a trailer that can do that. So lots of fun, lots of planning. We'll see what I can do. But for now, those are kind of like my short-term plans, and that's what I'm going to, uh, that's what I'm going to work on. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll try to have something a little bit more, uh, next week, and I will, uh, I'll talk to you later.